Hello everyone, now let us discuss about 2023 CPT coding guidelines for newborn care services. Coming to the newborn care service codes, the following codes are used to report the services provided to newborns, that is, from birth through the first 28 days in several different settings. The use of normal newborn codes is limited to the initial care of newborn in the first days after the birth prior to home discharge. The normal newborn codes are generally used for the initial care prior to home discharge. And ENM services for the newborn include maternal and or fetal and newborn history, newborn physical examination, ordering of diagnostic tests and treatments, meeting with family and documentation in the medical record. And when delivery room attendance service, delivery room attendance service, that is 99464 or delivery room resuscitation services, 99465 are required, report these in addition to the normal newborn services ENM codes. For the ENM services provided to newborns who are other than normal, see the codes for hospital inpatient or observation services that come under the category 992212-99233 and neonatal intensive and critical care services. The neonatal intensive care services come under the category 994662-99469 whereas neonatal critical care services come under the category 994772-99480. And when normal newborn services are provided by the same individual on the same day, that the newborn and that newborn later becomes ill and receives additional intensive or critical care services. In such case, report the appropriate ENM code with 25 modifier for these services in addition to the normal newborn code. Okay, newborn code. Newborn care codes. In addition to the normal newborn care codes, you can report the critical care services or intensive care services by appending 25 modified. Coming to procedures, for example, 54150, new, newborn circumcision are not included with the normal newborn codes and when performed should be reported in addition to the newborn services. Next point is, when newborns are seen in follow-up, after the date of discharge in the office or other outpatient settings. We need to see 99202 or 99215 outpatient new and established patient codes and 99381 and 993391 as appropriate. These can be preventive service codes. When the newborn are seen in the follow-up after the date of discharge, you need in the office or other outpatient setting, you can refer the following codes. Outpatient codes or preventive medicine codes as appropriate. Coming to the CPTs. The first one is 99460. Newborn care services. The first CPT is 99460. It deals with initial hospital or birthing center care per day for the evaluation and management of normal newborn infant. The next is 99461, initial care per day for the ENM of new normal newborn infant seen in other than hospital or birthing center. When the place of service is other than hospital or birthing center, you need to report 99461. The next CPT is 99462, subsequent hospital care per day for evaluation and management of newborn. This is the subsequent hospital care. These two are the initial hospital care services. Next code is 99463. Initial hospital or birthing center care per day for evaluation and management of normal newborn infant admitted and discharged on the same day. When the newborn is delivered and discharged on the same day, you need to report 99463. Now let us see an example. A baby born at 38 weeks gestation has ABO incompatibility. 
and the fidation is following serial bilirubin levels. But the baby is not on phototherapy. And the patient transitions well and no further intervention is required as bilirubin levels remain within the normal. In this instance, the baby is considered as normal newborn infant. So you need to code the initial hospital care code 99460 which is nothing but initial hospital care or birthing center care per day for evaluation and management of normal newborn infant. One more example. A baby was born at 39 weeks to a mother with a positive prenatal history of narcotic use. The mother had a narcotic use. And the baby was diagnosed with in utero narcotic exposure but remains asymptomatic. No symptoms are seen. And the patient is being followed for any adverse symptoms but is rooming with the mother. And the baby in this instance is coded as normal newborn. So the appropriate code is 99460. Initial hospital or birthing center care per day for evaluation and management of normal newborn infant. In both the cases, the appropriate CPT is 99460. Now let us see one more example. Patient's name is Lucky. Lucky's mother undergoes a repeat C-section of a healthy full term 8 pounds infant. Lucky is 8 pounds. And the physician examines the baby the next morning. And he reviews the records, examines the infant and speaks to the parent. Provider sees them for three days in the hospital. The hospital stay is three days. And provider performs circumcision on day two. So in this case, we need to quote four quotes for the entire scenario. For day one, you need to quote 99460, initial service. For day one. Next is 99462, which is nothing but subsequent hospital care per day for evaluation and management of normal newborn. Along with 25 modifier to indicate a separately identifiable procedure. We have seen that provider performs circumcision on day 2. For second day, first you need to report 99462 along with 25 modifier you need to code the CPT of circumcision because circumcision is not included in the newborn care service codes that we have discussed earlier. So, for 54150 for circumcision and then on the third day of discharge, you need to code the discharge code 99238 for the day of discharge. This is the complete coding scenario for this example. Let us see one more example. Baby is born at 39 weeks and the provider did the initial newborn care and discharged the newborn on 6-2. On the same day, baby is born at 38 weeks on 6-2. Provider did the initial newborn care and discharged the newborn on 6-2. That is same day admission and discharge are done. So the appropriate CPT is 99463, initial hospital or birthing center care per day for evaluation and management of normal newborn infant admitted and discharged on same date. Now coming to next category, delivery or birthing room attendance and resuscitation services. You have two CPTs. One CPT for delivery or birthing room attendance and the second CPT for Delivery or birthing room resuscitation services. Coming to the CPTs. The first one is 99464. Attendance at delivery. When requested by delivering physician, that is OB or other qualified healthcare professional. And initial stabilization of the newborn. This code includes the initial stabilization of the newborn. The next code is 99465. Delivery or birthing room, resuscitation, provision of positive pressure ventilation and or chest compressions in the presence of acute inadequate ventilation and or cardiac output. Now let us discuss an example. OB or GYN calls the provider 
to the delivery room for a possible difficulty delivery because the newborn's mom is ill. That is the pregnant, pregnant woman is ill. And the OB documents request for attendance. Providers immediate interventions and discussion with patient. So here the CPT is 99464. Attendance at delivery. When requested by delivering physician, that is gynecologist or OB or other qualified healthcare professional and initial stabilization of the newborn. This CPT 99464 includes the initial stabilization of the newborn. AAD, which is nothing but attendance at delivery, that is 99464. It includes the stabilization of the newborn. Stabilization includes Initial drying, stimulation, suctioning, visual inspection, abgar, blow by, CPAP and the discussion with OB and or patients. These are all included in the stabilization process. And stabilization of the newborn is included in the code 99464. This code 99464 that is attendance at delivery may be reported with the following CPTs. Some of the CPTs are 99460 normal newborn initial care. Next is 99212299223 sick newborn. Next is 99477 for initial intensive care. 99468 for critical care, newborn critical care. The next is 31500 for intubation. Next is 3115, 31515 for laryngoscopy, 36510 for catheterization. These are some of the procedures and ENM codes that can be reported along with 99464. Next CPD that is delivery or parting room resuscitation. Delivery or parting room resuscitation. Double nine four six five. It is nothing but provision of positive pressure ventilation and or chest compressions in the presence of acute inadequate ventilation and or cardiac output for the resuscitation. The description demands that positive pressure ventilation (PPV) or cardiopulmonary resuscitation (CPR) to be performed to use this code. They must be performed to employ this code. And resuscitation includes CPR, bag and mask, intubation and ventilation, not just CPAP. In order to report the delivery or birthing room resuscitation, the newborn must be in some sort of distress, such as acute inadequate ventilation or cardiac output and documentation should state acute respiratory distress or failure or other cardiopulmonary distress and the provider must perform some type of emergency measure to restore the breathing, breathing and heart function. And both attendance at delivery and resuscitation can be billed with the initial newborn care that is 99460, initial neonatal critical care that is 99468, initial intensive neonatal care that is 99477. And the code 99465 can be billed with standby codes also. That is 99360, intubation and central line codes and other necessary procedures as long as they are not performed as a convenience. As long as they are not performed as a convenience before the admission to the NIC. And one more important point is attendance at delivery and resuscitation on the same day cannot be built together. If the provider is in attendance and then performs the resuscitation, only build the delivery or birthing room resuscitation since it has a higher relative value units, RVUs. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe for further videos on medical coding and CPC training.